Namaste, beautiful one. Welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel and my uh, website. I have just some news for you. But before we get started, I just wanted us to come together and take some breaths. Breathe in and out. And just feel the beautiful elements earth, water, fire, air, and space. These devas, these divine beings, these concepts are the construct of who you are. And as I do this, I want to take some um, cards and see what is in the field today. And the first card I get in regards of spirit card is a card called totality. And it has to do with number five. And number five is about change. It's also about the five elements, earth, water, fire, and space that I work with in all of my healing sessions, okay? So when we pay attention to how we breathe, there's more awareness, consciousness, enlightenment that we bring in so that it becomes not just oxygen, but it becomes prana, life force, because life force rides on the breath and many other qualities as well. So we're being, we're being guided today that it's time to totally let go of what we count on as being real and safe, okay? Uh, we're going into the eclipse season now and things are changing and guess what? We can use this changing vibration and energy for our benefit, but we must let go and trust because if we don't trust in our own beingness or in our own soul or our own calling, then we start to engage in fear patterns. And there are so many fear patterns around us. So I would highly recommend to start to join me in my yoga practices, for example. I'm gonna be teaching Mondays and Wednesdays at 8.15 until 9.15 Pacific Standard Time of my own Zoom, okay? I'm also gonna be teaching at Center for Yoga LA on their Zoom on Tuesday, Thursday evenings at 6.15 p.m. and Sunday at 4.30 p.m. Okay, I got that under now you know i will also write my new schedule out for you so you can start to practice yoga and what the yoga is that i will practice on my specifically my zoom is prana yoga where we get the uh, awareness of really tapping in to the elements okay so first card has to do with the ether or the spirit card that which binds us together the guides are saying, don't be afraid, but practice to totally let go and know that you are taken care of. Command and demand in love and appreciation for your body to work together as one unit. Ionize your cells by going outside into nature, by breathing, by doing a practice by doing something that grounds you into your own reality, which is actually your body, okay? Your heart, okay? Not your mind. Your mind is kind of, we're going on a movie and sometimes we like to have a scary movie. Sometimes we like to have a romance movie, right? So just start to differentiate on what it is that you are living and what it is that you are letting go of. And don't be afraid even to let go of that which you hold dearest in your heart. Even so, let go for a moment and see that even people, parents, whatever, siblings, friends that are closest to you, let them go for a little bit and then see how there's more room as we join again together. Okay, so first card for today is totality. Totally let go for a moment. Practice small things, okay? And then we're looking at the energy of the, east, uh, of the earth, how we live in our bodies. Abundance is the card we get here. And this is a 
total balance, total balance of the moon, of the sun, of the doing, of the receiving, of the yin and the yang. That's what creates abundance within you. And then celebrate and recognize the abundance that is already here with you and really do those things that brings you true joy. Do that. That's what the cards uh, are showing us. How to work with the energy of earth is to connect deeply and fully into the earth element, which happens to be also your body. Okay. Looking now at the energy of the emotion, the watery energies, okay? And we get the card of clinging to the past. And it's another five number. Five is that middle number that changes everything, okay? And it says here um, that when we get either too comfortable with a a, a, a a daily chore or a daily way of seeing things, then we can be stuck in a rut. We are stuck in the squariness of, mm, of uh, regularity, okay? Don't allow yourself to go beyond your expectation. And when you set your intentions in the morning, go beyond your expectations so you don't get boxed in. But see now the beautiful glass as full or half full, not half empty. And stick with the positive. Know what it is that you want. Know why you are here on this planet. What is your calling? What is your service that you're providing for everybody else? You can even go back and think about what was it that you loved the most to play when you were a child? What comes easy to you and what is entertaining and fun? Go there and find answers, okay? Uh, now looking at the energy of the air, the wind, the mind, okay? And we get the fool, number zero. Here we are being asked to give ourselves permission to begin anew and just know, even though it's a little crazy maybe, but just know that once you take that first step, you will be guided, okay? So be willing to be the fool, to go out there with enthusiasm and shine your light on who you are. We're now working into the element of the fire. The fire is that most incredible element that can destroy, that can bring to ashes, but can also warm us, create comfort and transmute. So it also digests. It's also the energy that flows in our blood, the fire of life, okay? So we get sorrow. We have some sorrow um, that we are letting go of. Sorrow is an emotion that comes from the mind, okay? Where we continue to dig ourselves deeper in to some form of attachment. And yes, if we have sorrow, Please it, feel the energy, go through the emotion. Don't resist feeling the sorrow. We even put on a, a sad movie or something that makes you cry because these tears are powerful. So as we go forward, even though you might be afraid or feel that you're missing the old life, step forward in courage, okay? So we have sorrow. It's also number nine, which means that it's really about heady energy. And basically the guides are saying, burn those thoughts and let go of it and begin anew and know that what you are thinking, what you're feeling and how you are living your life has an incredible importance. So try not to gossip, try not to complain, try not to be negative, okay? Adj uh, adjust and acknowledge where are you in the tendency of feeling sorry for yourself or being the victim mentality. 
How can you break free and let go of that and say, hey, I lived in victim mentality for, you know, 10 years, but what did I learn? Nothing. I learned what I didn't want to experience experience in my life. So turn it around. What if this day is the most incredible day for the rest of your life? What is that sorrow taught me to feel compassion for others and especially compassion and self-correction in who I am? Okay, let's look at the heart. Okay, the heart is also saying big changes here. And this is a major arcana card, which tells me we have to go in and see the change through our hearts, which means not the logic, but the emotional, the soul, the inner child. Okay, I will provide some workshops and videos on how to make contact and read how your soul is communicating with you. And the more we do this work, the more clarity you will get. Remember, our soul is speaking in synchronicities. It's speaking in sacred geometry and pictures and energy and vibration, okay? So as we work, for example, with the etheric body, we're working with vibration like Reiki. Okay, uh, Reiki training uh, level one, two begins May 1st until May 23rd. Okay, make note if you already had Reiki one, you can do it again. If you have Reiki two, you can do it again. If you only have Reiki one, you do Reiki one and two again. If you're already a master Reiki practitioner and you just want to have a community, come and join in the Reiki training. As you know, in my Reiki certifications and trainings, I give so much more than just the basics. So it's really an embodiment of your soul that we are looking for. And that's where I have received sacred awakenings. Okay. So when we go in through the heart, we can stay in the center of the storm and not feel out of control. We simply magnetize back into the center of the center of the center of our own beingness and heart, okay? So that we can shift from, you know, electrical energy out thinking, but drawing beautiful energy into our hearts through your eyes, seeing this beautiful soul light in everyone. Okay, these are the cards. Now, the messages, that are coming forward. Again, this week is a very powerful week with a new beginning, new moon, okay? We're dealing with energies of I am, I have, Aries and Taurus, very intense energy. I would recommend for you to really know what it is that you want in your life and write it on the list, write it on a piece of paper so that when you start to feel anxious, or, you know, depressed or unrooted, you look at those intentions and you feel the vibration of them in your beingness, in your body, okay? Chanting is also highly recommended. And um, it's 11.11. Okay, anyway, when we uh, have the eclipse, which happens on Thursday this week, it's such an incredible and powerful eclipse. This is going to really set the tone for the next six months and even more. So I would recommend to be still and quiet and go into meditation, visualization, doing gentle yoga, breathing outside in nature, connecting to the trees and the elementals of the nature. Uh, this is a wonderful opportunity for you to really be that one that you have always been looking for. You are the ascended master that you have been looking for. Remember this, okay? All right. Then next week, I begin my yoga teachings. 
So I will be teaching on this private Zoom of mine, Prana Yoga. It is a form of Iyengar Yoga where we really go deeper into the alignment so that your prana, your life force can flow. It will be excellent for any level of practitioners. It's Monday, Wednesday morning on my Zoom from 8.15 to 9.15. You can also come here to my yoga shala and practice if you are available or around the area in Pasadena around that time, okay? The donation is 20 bucks per class. Then I will be also teaching through Center for Yoga on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays. Tuesday, Thursday evening, 6.15 to 7.15, level two flow. I will also incorporate prana yoga there, okay? Sundays at 4.00. 30 p.m. And I'm so excited and looking forward to this. Reiki training, Reiki 1-2 begins May 1st until May 23rd. We'll be meeting on Mondays and Tuesday evenings, as well as Saturday morning for share and practice. Okay. Uh, you will receive the booklet and you will learn about the powerful symbols. You will learn about the archangels and you will go very much deeper into your spiritual awareness. This is an incredible class that you should be joining me in if you are interested and if you have time, okay? Uh, you will get reinitiated if you already have the initiations and um, so on and so forth. Furthermore, I take clients on Mondays and Tuesdays, as well as Saturdays for my QHHT uh, healing hypnosis sessions. This is an incredible deepening if you're very interested in, in loosening up your current self and finding your purpose and healing on a very deep level. In my quantum hypnosis healing therapy sessions, I first um, do Reiki and some shaman work. I'll adjust your chakra system so that your experience will be deep, relaxed, and profound. You will have a recording of it so that you have to listen to that so you reprogram your subconscious into that who you are becoming and that you want to be. When we do quantum hypnosis therapy, we go back in time and space to a different time where you learn information and energies that you can use in this lifetime now. So we contact your subconscious, your higher self, that one who goes with you through life after life, okay? We may contact past or a present or a future lifetime. It's very uh, incredible, uh, the results from these sessions. And it is a great honor uh, to hold these healing sessions. And as well, it's a great honor to receive it you will find out so much and it's a deep healing on a cellular level. If you have pain, aches, headaches, if you have uh, suffering from migraines, if you're suffering from uh, depression, addiction, and so on and so forth, you're kind of just trapped in one of these cycles of repeating, repeating the same old. And this hypnosis can help you break free from that. And I hope to see you. Uh, if you have any other workshops that you're interested in uh, learning, I'm also, um, will be teaching this year a master um, energy healing class of Reiki. And I will also be deepening uh, in uh, some courses in regards of the elements. And just so that we understand that what we take with us in this life, from this life, is really the imprints that we have on our soul. And that you are absolutely in charge and you can change your life, okay? You can learn how to work with this. And if you have that 
will and the intentionality, you can really create whatever it is that you desire in your life. Okay, so please be on the lookout for further workshops. And meanwhile, I highly recommend to have a physical practice. Learn these postures that are designed for your body to open up. So pain and habits and restriction and stress can flush out of your body so that you can start to receive your own guidance in a really wonderful and deep way. Blessings, please go to my website, carolinasacredawakenings.com. The link is below. Also, please join me in my classes. The first week at Center for Yoga is completely free. It is worth it. I recommend you to go there and take as many of the classes as you can. There's highly qualified teachers there and they're all wonderful, okay? And then I will see you in the morning yoga classes on my own Zoom. And it's a $20 donation there uh, per class, which is basically uh, very affordable if you are interested in going deeper, okay? We have a body for a reason, and this is your sacred temple for your soul's mission. This is where you can find the truth within, okay? So I am so excited and sign up as well or email me or reach out or text me if you're interested in private healing sessions. You can do quantum hypnosis or my Reiki healing sessions, which has a little bit of everything in it and have great results, okay? So blessings, have a wonderful day and thank you for listening to this video. And I hope you received the beautiful healing vibrations that I always send out whenever I do a video. Thank you so much.